Hello, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Today, we're talking about the steps to increased growth, the steps to increased growth. Well, we've been talking about the gifts that the Savior has brought us, the gift of grace as well as the gift of growth. And so we want to be able to grow. The first thing that we do is we need to build our faith. Oh, we talk about the five infallible steps of faith. That means we need to one, meditate on the word of God. That means you've got to get in your word. You got to read it so that you can meditate on it. You can roll it around in your mind. Secondly, you're going to allow it to be illuminated in your heart. So it goes from your head to your heart. You know that it is for you. Then you're going to pray about it. Prayer is that area in which you then now ask God, for whatever it is that you're requesting, we have access to the throne room. And so because you've already meditated on the word, because it's already been illuminated in your heart that it is for you, you can then ask adequately, believing that you're going to receive. The fourth step is confession. You're going to confess that word. In order for you to build your faith, you need to confess, hey, I've already got it, even though you don't have it. Faith says, I believe what I don't see. It is going to come to pass. And then the fifth step, is that possession. It's now manifested. It's yours. So you need to build your faith. But the second thing that you need to do as far as the steps to growth, the increased growth that you're looking for, that second one is to walk in the grace that you have been given, that unmerited favor, that ability to do what you could not do with all human effort, but because of the divine effort or the divine hand of protection upon you or favor that's upon your life, you're able to do it. How do you do that? You've got to increase your knowledge. That's right. Now it's time for study, not just reading the word, not just knowing that it's there, but you've got to actually study so that you have more knowledge of who God is. The second one is you need to be aware of when that grace is showing up in your life. And a lot of times we think, oh, it's coincidence or it's happenstance. That's not the case. God is working when we don't even know that he's working. Even when he seems to be silent, he's still working but we need to then now become aware the things that God is doing in our life. And the third step, we need to appreciate it or we need to acknowledge the fact that it was God that did it. That goes back to that gift of testimony. You start testifying about the goodness of God. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with your your truth for the week. I wanna make sure that you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have a fantastic rest of your year. It's the 52nd episode of 2022. It truly has been my pleasure. And with that, I sign off for 2022 and I look forward to an increase that you're going to have in 2023. Grow in grace, continue to do all that God has for you and continue to look to him for everything that you need. Have a fantastic rest of your year. Bye for now. Hi, thanks for listening and watching. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that notification button so you'll know the next time there's a new episode. Listen, as a result of my coaching program, my clients have experienced a calming of the emotional roller coaster. They have a compelling future, as well as the confidence and the know how to achieve it. And they have clarity on the financial tools that they need in order to live life on their terms and save tens of thousands of dollars. I'm looking for women who are devastated by the double D's divorce, or death, who want to gain confidence to live life on their terms with peace and financial security. My question is, who do you know? Have them go ahead and book a call with me so that we can get to that compelling future. My heart may be broke, but your bank account doesn't have to be. You can find us online at h, the number two, htruth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.